What is going on, Multiversers? Welcome back to the channel. We got a ton of news to go over. Multiverses just did their Into the Verse stream over on Twitch. And there's a lot of news for the upcoming season, season two, which again starts tomorrow. So we're going to go over all that in this video, at least a lot of the bigger talking points. So I do want to start off by saying this wasn't talked about in the stream, but apparently Warner Brothers Games has acquired Multiverses developer player first games. So... I'm guessing, you know, take that however you want, but maybe Warner Brothers games, maybe they got a lot of faith in multiverses as a game. Maybe they'll start giving a little bit more resources towards the project or whatever it might be. But, you know, I, I guess that the way I'm going to choose to view it for now, Warner Brothers games has faith in multiverses. So, you know, take that news how you want. So now let's get into the news from the actual stream itself. And I missed this at the very beginning, but luckily people were tweeting about this. So this is some big news. Samurai Jack is the battle pass character. I don't think anyone's too surprised about that, but Beetlejuice is not, I repeat, is not the Rift character as Rifts have been reworked in some way and more information on that later. But uh, the main takeaway, Beetlejuice, not the Rift character because there are no Rift characters moving forward, they mentioned. They took that out. Too many people complained about how grindy and unfun that was, so they removed that, so no Rift character, so there you go. So a quick note for anybody that's interested in Twitch drops, there will be new Twitch drops for Multiverses starting tomorrow, the day season two goes live, but uh, we can get a new sticker, a new profile icon, which I absolutely love. That one's so cool. I might even rock that for a little while, but then there's also a running ring out. Again, Twitch drops, all you gotta do is link your WB account to your Twitch account, watch an hour and 30 minutes of Multiverses Twitch streamers with drops enabled and bam, you get your rewards. They'll just automatically appear in game. So kind of cool. Now let's talk about the battle pass. We'll go over all the tiers, not individually. You can kind of see the images for yourself. But as we mentioned, Samurai Jack is the battle pass character. He's only in the premium version of the battle pass, meaning the only way to play Samurai Jack in season two, you have to buy the battle pass. You can't use ca uh, character currency you cannot use character tickets, much like Jason was in season one. But Jason and uh, Joker, they said, will be added to the character store now, so you can purchase them from there, which is kind of nice. I think you could always get Joker, but uh, they added Jason to the shop as well, just uh, as an FYI. But Samurai Jack, only way to play is him, get the battle pass, and you can see some of the rewards. Garnet getting another costume. There's a little bit of Gleamium. And by the way, I counted the Gleamium. According to the video that they showed during the stream, there's only 900 Gleamium you can earn from the Battle Pass this season. Now, I think I'm, maybe I'm crazy, but wasn't there more Gleamium you could earn from the Battle Pass in season one? Wasn't that more? Uh, maybe, maybe they changed the numbers a little bit. I'm not sure, but 900 Gleamium. Maybe that's what the, uh, the cost of the Battle Pass is. I don't know off the top of my head. It's either 900 or a thousand, but if it's 900, I guess if you earn all the Gleamium, well, then you can get Battle Pass for the next season. Now let's go to up to tier 20. You can see a couple new things. Some more Gleamium, actually 200 total Gleamium from uh, tier 11 to tier 20. Get the new Samurai Shuffler at tier 15. Steven Universe gets a new character cosmetic or a character variant at 17. And he also gets a new character taunt at tier 18. So Steven Universe fans will be eating pretty good the first couple tier levels of the, uh, the Battle Pass. Now going up to tier 30. Uh, Toast is back. Toast is back in the battle pass, and I think that's I think that's okay because I think there's only what two, maybe three. I think I think it might be three tiers in total. But uh, Toast is back, so we can earn a little bit of Toast, which is always nice. People want to do that. But Bugs Bunny getting a new costume. Uh, there's a new ring out uh, milestone at tier 25. A little bit more Gleamium in there. We get some more character currency. Uh, at tier 30, uh, what is that, 600 of it? So there you go for that. Moving up to tier 40 now, we get some new ring outs at tier 31. Gizmo gets a biker look at tier 35. They said Stripe got it during this first season. So Gizmo needed to kind of match that as well. So that's kind of cool. A little bit more gle 200 Gleamium at tier 37. New Scooby Snacks ring out at tier 39. Now moving up to tier 50, we got uh, the first few tiers are kind of okay nothing too crazy but the last 3 48 49 and 50 are probably i guess the best but uh black adam gets an entertained yet sort of uh emote which is kind of cool and then uh, jake getting another character variant at tier 50 which uh i'm pretty excited for if i do say so myself 
jumping up to tier 60 now. We get uh, some more Gleamium at tier 53. Uh, Banana Guard's getting a new emo, peanut butter jelly time, which is nice. A little bit more toast at 56. Finn is also getting a new character variant at tier 57, which is nice. And then uh, tier 60 looks to be a free player banner. Is that the sun screaming from Rick and Morty? So kind of a fan of that myself. And then tier 70, what is the 70? What is the reward at 70? Well, Sam Jack's the character, so it makes sense that he gets the tier 70 skin, and that is the Lost Jack. Now, if you watch Samurai Jack, this is a pretty dang fitting, a pretty damn good fitting character variant, if I do say so myself. So I, as a fan of Samurai Jack, have absolutely no issue with this. This looks great. Can't wait to acquire this, but uh, 261, awesome looking Joker profile icon right there. Pretty cool. So there's a lot of cool ones. 68 has the, uh, the meme of Aku ordering pizza extra thick so that'll be fun i think a lot of people will rock that if they make it that far in the battle pass and well that's kind of it for the battle pass now over to the new stage that will be coming around the midway point in season two and that would be teen titans towers so that's kind of cool they showed us this and they mentioned that there's uh, two versions this one is going to be the competitive version it's to be just the main platform right there in the middle the the bluish gray one as you can see not the red part in the background that is not a part of the playable stage, but uh, you get the main platform and then two small floating platforms. So this is kind of like a small battlefield type of stage. So uh, should be fun. But again, this is a competitive version of the stage. I think they mentioned there's a uh, second version, but we didn't get to see that. So we'll see how that plays out. But there's a lot of cool kind of Easter eggs and references to characters all over this stage. So pick out what you see. There is the Aquaman uh, statue over kind of on the left hand side. There's many, many more, but I'm not gonna break all that down right now, so uh, on to the next thing. There is a new event store coming to the game, which is kind of interesting. So uh, you can purchase some of these things. As we can see, there's a few new skins, Baseball Fin, Tennis Tom and Jerry, Seven Kingdoms, Team Fencer Aria. There's even a golfer, Marvin the Martian. Uh, there's also Warm Up LeBron if you missed him from the uh, the event that ended at the very end of season one. But uh, there's some new characters in there and you could earn these medals I believe through rift mode and they have their own event tracks like they're the last tier of an event track you earn a medal use the medal and automatically acquire things so it's kind of a you know you don't got to pay any gleamium for it you don't got to pay any real money it's just earn a medal in game take the medal to the metal shop and buy whatever you want kind of cool now for rift difficulties they mentioned a lot so i'll let the the clip kind of play in the background because they mentioned quite a bit here we had um uh, uh, unlock at the beginning with easy and then it would go into experience and then progressively the difficulties would uh, uh, increase throughout the season but some of them wouldn't uh, be shown because uh, it was meant to be uh, easy and then a higher difficulty later to progressively increase with your gems uh, this season there is only one gem and that is the discipline gem uh, and with that gem uh, there will also be four rifts instead of the eight uh, we, want to, uh, we wanted to uh, change up uh, the way that uh, Rifts work, so it's uh, easier to be able to play as you go. Um, and uh, you will also be leveling progressively with that one gem. Now, that does not mean that you will be losing the other gems, of course, for anybody who might be. Uh, I've seen that question pop up quite a bit. Your gems do not reset from uh, Season 1, so those will still be used, including some uh, additional missions that will be happening, such as that one up there. And uh, we will be uh, progressively looking at new ways to use uh, gems for our previous seasons as well. But yeah, that, that was a lot. Only one new gem type for the entire season, which I think is fine. That's okay, because we get to keep our old gems, our old levels. None of that got removed from the game. None of those got reset. Everything that we have currently right now remains going forward into the future, so that's nice. But only one new gem type, only four rifts for the entire season, so that's uh, a little strange. I guess a new rift every other week now, so. Eh, we'll see how we feel about that. But people were complaining rifts were just too unfun and too grindy. So I guess that was their solution. Just make less of them. So there you go with that. Uh, and then they also mentioned that Toasty is going to be a companion that you can unlock. And he has his own little event track that you can, well, complete. And as you can see, you get like a Samurai Jack skin. Or not a skin, but a Samurai Jack badge there. And then some Battle Pass XP. But then tier 3 and 5, you can see... It's an icon for Toasty, and uh, during one of the rifts, you actually unlocked Toasty, and he helped deal damage in battles. So it looks to be this is going to be something that they experiment with going forward for rifts. 
You can have Toasty as a companion who fights alongside you, and you can level up Toasty, which is what those icons do. So they give Toasty experience, and well, the higher his level is, the more damage he should be uh, doing. And I, I guess that opens the door to future companions as well for multiverses. So that'll be, I'll be curious to see how they take this from there, but uh, kind of cool that uh, Toasty will be with you out, will be with you out there on the battlefield. They did mention the prestige shop, which I was very excited for. A lot of questions were, all right, the Batman who laughs, is that skin? It says it's exclusive to the prestige store. Were they removing it? No, everything that gets put into the prestige store will never leave. Everything will always be there. So it's kind of cool. And they mentioned a few new ones. Rick and Morty are finally getting their mech suits. We've seen this for like over two years now. So, um, uh, well, yeah, over two years. So it's kind of nice that uh, they're finally in the game. 1984, the gold armor Wonder Woman finally come into the game. There's a new ring out that caught all of those are 75,000 prestige, which is interesting. And then there's a 20,000 prestige new emote of troll dog. So kind of fun. And then one final thing, they did mention that individual character leaderboards will be returning. Yes. Um, a lot of people were asking uh, if we will ever see uh, not only a full leaderboard come back, but the individual character leaderboards. And the answer to that is yes. Uh, so in ranked, uh, you will be able to see not only where you position yourself, but you will be able to see a drop down where you see all of the individual characters. So you can once again say that you are the best character uh, main in the world. So yeah, I think that's a lot of the major stuff that they went over. So hopefully I didn't miss anything too big, but uh, there's a lot in here. Season two shaping up to be pretty good. I think they made on a personal level. I think they made some good changes. I myself didn't really mind too much about how Rift Mode was, but uh, if a majority of people were saying it's too grindy and it's just unfun, uh, we'll see how the new uh, changes work. Only four Rifts. Um, they're still keeping it where you don't have the difficulties or all difficulties for every single Rift, but they're making it so it's easy to uh, progress through it and you can... They, they tied it to those uh, event charms that you get... Um, when you play a rift down there at the bottom, it keeps track of how, however many stars you get and then you level up. So that's kind of how it's based on moving through rifts from now for the event tracks, which is kind of cool. But we'll have to see. But season two, I believe, is shaping up to be pretty good. Although they did not really mention that we'd be getting more than just Samurai Jack and Beetlejuice as playable characters. So I know some people will eh, they might take a little issue with that. So we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. But I guess for the time being. Only two characters are coming to the season, but they seem fun.